If you're looking for a great YouTube network to join, apply for full screen with the link in the description. To trade your games in for a better value, use leaptrade.com and use Broken Games HD as a referral. All right, what's going on, everybody? So this is my 15th boss fight, Murgo the Wet Nurse. And honestly, sounds like a porno name, but we're not going to get into that. Um, so yeah, as I spoke about in the last boss fight video, this game has, you know, is big on the theme of pregnancy and children and birth and in nightmares and everything like that and this is the wet nurse and this boss i don't know why i think it i said it in the stream it was something about this boss that reminded me of the nightmare before christmas and the oogie boogie man i think because there was something with like swords and blades at the at the end of that movie when Jack the Skeleton was fighting him, but I'm going way deep into my childhood right now. But yeah, it's it's it, it's in. I feel like it's influenced. The boss design is influenced by many different things. Obviously, one of the things is, you know, kind of like the Grim Reaper, except this thing has like what four, four arms swinging swords. Is that four or is it six? No, it's actually six. Yeah, it's six, and this this fight is definitely you know uh a marathon and not a race you want to take your time this video probably what is like 10 minutes yeah this is the only boss fight i've uploaded that was that ever reached this long um and it's easy for the most part dodging its normal attacks right because it pretty much announces all its moves so you can see them coming a mile away but if you still get hit by them, then you're going to regret it because she does some, uh, you know, really good damage. Um, but yeah, you, you, it's, she has very big tells for all her moves. Now it gets difficult when she brings you into this, this like, this realm, apparently, where she does this, like, shadow clone jutsu. And now there are four of her, and everywhere you run, you bump into another one, and you have to keep dodging it. And they have extremely long range physical attacks, right? She gets you in this type of like genjutsu or something, and you got it. You you can't do nothing but survive it. I don't think you can attack in that mode. You might be able to attack it in that mode. I didn't try. I just I just wanted to survive. So that that's all I did. Every time I got into that that realm, I just tried to survive. But even though it's a marathon, I do recommend trying to kill her as fast as possible. Because the longer you, the longer you take, the more times you're gonna get brought into that realm where there's duplicates of her, and then you'll have to just be dodging the whole time, which isn't easy. I did a pretty good job at it the first and second time. The third time, definitely almost died. So if you can kill her quick, y you want to, because that's the only thing that's you know actually really hard about this boss fight is that part dodging everything else is pretty easy get you know just pretty much try to get behind her um pick your spots uh pick your spots attack and just back out again but yeah as you can see you don't want to get you don't want to get hit in those uh series of attacks because you can kind of get stunned in that and and watch out for the uppercut. I got hit by the I got hit by the bus driver uppercut a couple of times. So you don't want to get hit in that series of attacks because you know it, it's sometimes hard to get out of, you know. Because each each hit is gonna keep stunning you. And here she goes with this with this with this move again. Did I actually inflict damage right there? I didn't even notice. I don't know. Um, but I was more concerned of just trying to survive this. And of course, the camera angle is always one of the enemies in the game. Especially when it's one of those bosses that are so big, they block the camera angle so you can't see anything. So yeah, I'm just rolling. Just trying to, ad trying to dodge all these attacks. That's all you want to do right here. And I was a little upset about this because I'm ob obviously wasting the bolt pa paper time. So that was a bad time when I actually equipped it. 
I had a lot of close calls during this match. And I'm happy because this is, I, don't, I wouldn't say this is an easy boss. And I don't think a lot of people beat this boss on the first try. I did. This was, this was the very first try. You know, and I did it live so everybody knows it was my first try. And it really came down to the wire at the end. You know, because I had no more blood vials, as you're going to see at the end. And I was afraid to go in. I was afraid to move in to attack because one, pretty much one attack could probably kill me. But I'm like, oh man, I want to kill this thing on the first try so bad. That crazy uppercut just uplifted me. And you know, I was a little bit cocky. I, I was... I was uh, playing playing with it for a little bit because I thought I had it in the bag. I'm like, oh, this is easy, you know. So I got a little bit cocky when I should have been more careful and it wouldn't have came down to the wire like that. And then he, he does this disappear, this teleport move, which, you know, I thought he was going to come down with an attack from it, but all he does is teleport for whatever reason. And here comes this move again. And it's just all dodging from here. Really close calls. Really close calls. Like, I, I can't lie. I think my stomach was in my ass, like, at this point. Like, I was clenching. Like my heart, my heart was was really beating. This was tense for me, cause I'm just like trying to dodge everything and trying to use a blood vial at the right time. So, um, you know, you you sometimes it's you're not sure whether you should keep dodging at one point or use a blood vial, cause sometimes trying to use a blood vial that can get you killed if you pick it in the wrong spot. But I survived that and get hit by the freaking bus driver uppercut as soon as I come out of the damn thing. So, now in this situation, this was when it was grind time. Because as you can see, I get hit by the freaking bus driver uppercut again. And I'm like, I got no I got no blood vials. I accidentally throw a Molotov in the wrong direction because I meant to throw the fire paper on. But, and as you can see, no blood, no blood vials. And I'm getting hit by these stupid attacks I'm like an idiot. So I'm like, I can't let her go into that mode again. If I let her go into that mode where she has these clones of her i'm not gonna survive there's no way so i'm like i gotta go in i gotta go in but i can't go in rec recklessly i gotta go in and um get behind her i gotta pick my spots but i gotta do it fast before she goes into that next mode because that's oh my goodness like do you see my health actually <clears throat> now that I realize it, I just realized I had an item that could have restored my health. I forgot blood vials are not the exactly only thing in my health. Not Blood vials are not the only thing in the game that can actually restore your health. They're like elixirs and, and stuff like that. I don't know why I didn't think of it. But in, in the moment, you're not thinking about that. And right here, I'm getting hit again. And I'm like, oh, I just need one more hit. One more hit. And yeah. So, it was pretty close. Now that I'm thinking about it, I definitely could have used some of you know some of those items I had to restore my health so yeah that was a cool boss fight and then afterwards before the boss fight you you see the carriage and the baby crying and after the boss fight you also see the you also hear the baby crying um, so yeah and I thought it was gonna be like maybe a second form because um, yeah you get the one-third of the umbilical cord it doesn't say pray slaughtered it says nightmare uh, what did it say? Night, nightmare Slain or something like that? Yeah. So, that was the... was that, was that Yeah, there's one more boss after this. And then there's an optional boss, depending on if you do the... Uh, do the optional. Um, if you do what's required to fight the optional boss. So, yeah. That's it, y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.